I'm going to show you guys some of the things that I bought since I am now going to switch back to uh, my raw food. Nah, I'm not going to use that phrase. I'm going to, since I'm switching back to eating mostly fruits and vegetables, that's what I'm going to, that's what, what I'm going to call it. Um, Plant-based diet. That's what I use the first time. Um, because really every lifestyle should, I think every, every change that, if someone makes a drastic change from um, eating unhealthy food and wanting to be more healthy, the basis of a real nutrition packed diet is a plant-based diet. So anyway, I just bought a couple of things. Um, more, usually more, more produce than I normally buy, but I'll just show you what I have. And although this video won't really be a recipe, it will be um, just to show you what, what I'm working with right now and um, what I'm experimenting with, if you will. Okay, first of all, um, <laughs> yeah, I have to show these just because I love these. I don't really eat them that often because they are pretzels, but if you were with me from the last, um, the last, first, the first time that I, I tried to, to, to do raw and I called it raw, I bragged on this, uh, brand of hummus. It's called Sabra. It's so smooth and it's really just, it's so good. My anyway, favorite is the lemon. lemons to flavor my green smoothies. Uh, I bought some peaches. Actually, I don't even think peaches are in season, but um, I don't think so. Maybe not. Maybe. I don't know. But this is kind of hard, so I guess I'll let it stay. I always, well, every time I go to the store, I always get bananas just because I eat them so much. They're really good for after workout days. Not to say that the um, pretzels are, but it's just that when you, um, when you do a really strenuous workout and some apples, just red delicious apples. I usually don't like to put apples in my green smoothie, guys, just because the, the skin, even though I know it's good for you, it doesn't, I don't like the consistency of it, even with the blender that I have, but I'm going to try it anyway, all right? I never peel the skin off my apple. I'd just rather eat the apple than blend it, but I got some more bananas. Um, these are actually two for one. Um, <clears throat> Cinnamon roasted almonds, probably not the best choice. I have some raw almonds that I keep in my car and a canister that's about like this. So, um, yeah, I know, I know it's good when it comes to nuts, but I just wanted to try the cinnamon and um, we'll buy one, get one free. So, But this is the one that I really got, mixed nuts. One of my subscribers left a comment. I asked him, um, and his name, is, if he doesn't mind me saying, is Revolutionary Inc. Great videos. And um, he meant, I asked him if, um, if nuts, what did he think about eating nuts? Because I had such an issue with that last time. And, uh, you know, some raw people were saying that it, it leaves some kind of sludge residue or something. And that might be while I was feeling tired. But um, he said that to get mixed nuts um, so that they can help each other digest the other. Uh, and besides that, I just like nuts. Um, you know they're good for you at least that's what everybody says so I'll go by common wisdom um, so I'm not gonna be as worried about protein oh and this is a green smoothie I'm gonna drink I, I just blended this like yesterday so it was uh, red go globe grapes those are the big grapes with the seeds I just blend the whole thing um, bananas some pears and some ice and some water and some spinach of course and that's this. So I'm going to go ahead and drink it because I don't like to drink smoothies that are more than a day old. And of course, it's probably not as nutritionally packed if it's a day old. All right, let me show you my, yeah, my washing machine's in my kitchen. You guys want to see my less than clean kitchen? Uh, I don't really have a whole lot of storage space and I have to have my washer and dryer in here because there's nowhere else to put it. But I'd rather have it in the kitchen than go to a laundromat. And uh, <laughs> that's an old All right. <clears throat> Oh yes, I also asked Revolutionary Inc. about whey protein and um, what he felt about that in with the green lifestyle, the green diet, or the green uh, raw thing. Um, because really, why I keep mentioning him is because he, he was commenting on one of my videos and he said, and I have been thinking about this anyway, um, since I have been growing, growing more and more frustrated, but... Um, he said that the best thing that I could have done for myself, and I'm pretty sure Rochelle will echo this, is that um, when I was doing the raw thing with the plant-based diet, and um, I sort of forgot that. So 
I forgot about why I did that um, and why it was advantageous for me to do it. So I said, you know what, thanks for planting that seed in my head. I'm going to try it again. I'm going to look at it differently, make it a soup, like a lifestyle, not just for 30 days, just do it. And I asked him about the nuts and the whey protein. So I I'm, I'm, think I might try to wean myself off of that because in this book that I just bought, some of you raw foodies might have read it before. It's called Green for Life by uh, Victoria Butenko. I'm hoping I'm saying her name right. Um, and I stopped on the chapter where it mentioned um, the protein in greens particularly, not root vegetables like carrots or potatoes, but greens particularly. Um, the amino acids in there build muscle and they account for um, a lot of the protein that you need and you don't necessarily need it from complex proteins like animal proteins um, which I don't eat a whole lot of which is why I supplement with that but I'm gonna I'm gonna really try to put in more greens particularly as opposed to just eating fruit which I do eat a lot of um, bought some blueberries got some spinach I'm gonna try that's spinach and I have some more in the fridge I'm gonna try some mint I think if I'm really going to do this, I better start investing in uh, other things just to mix things up. I always like green smoothies, so I don't think I would get tired of them. But um, it's just a quick and easy and convenient way to get down your greens. And that's my trusty Blendtec right there. Um, that blender, it's a really good blender. I recommend it. If, you, if, you have, um, if you're thinking about doing green smoothies, um, there's also another kind called Vitamix which is also a high powered blender uh... it is not it's not cheap but it's worth it 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 lasts quite a while um, i've only had mine for ooh, maybe about a year um, i bought it off of actually i bought it from the website or maybe i bought it off of amazon i bought it from amazon and um... I, it was about four hundred dollars i know y'all think that's crazy unless you have one then you don't think it's crazy but um, it's a three horsepower blender and it can liquefy anything you know it can, it can if you ever watch it's this uh, YouTube channel called will it no it's Blendtex channel but they do these will it blend things and they blend like all kinds of things like metal stuff they blended an iPhone they blended just kind of stuff that you would never ever blend they blended a Nike shoe and it was dust by the time the the you know blend cycle was over so it's a really good blender um, you know and if you look at it this way especially me because I drink I do drink green smoothies quite regularly that's better than burning out a, a sixty dollar blender and having to buy another one because the blend text lasts for a really long time um, I've heard Vitamix is do too so um, that's my handy dandy blender so um, I probably will uh, do mostly green smoothies just because they're quick to make, they're easy to make, and um, you know I can take them out out the door with me. Like I keep them in my mason jar. I showed you a minute ago. Um, but I'm gonna let y'all know how this goes, uh, or let's at least keep you up to date with what I'm doing. I think it's gonna go pretty well. How can it not? Um, and I feel good about it. I'm not like up to any kind of gimmicks. I'm not necessarily trying to. Um, kickstart my weight loss. I'm not trying to do that. I'm so over that. I'm overweighing myself. I just want to feel good about myself physically and I want to be healthy emotionally with what I'm doing and I just I just want to be healthy and live healthy and not have to worry about very much else. I'm still going to post my weights. I still want to reach my goal weight by um, <clears throat> by summer, by July, which is my birthday. Um, my mom thinks my mom thinks 150 pounds is too skinny for me, which is crazy because that's like really if you look at the height weight chart, that's like that's like on the heavy side for my height, which is five seven, five six, five seven. Um, but I think my mom's just so used to seeing me big, like when I was really big, like over 250, that she thinks that that's gonna be super skinny. But it's only it's only compared to what she's uh, used to. Anyway, so 150 is my goal weight, and I'm trying to hit that by July. So, uh, I will be keeping you guys posted on that. So, once again, thank you for watching. Thank you for your support. And I will talk to you guys soon.
Bye.